when it is time for a weekday Mass to begin, the priest will ask everyone to pray. The priest will lead the prayer. For example, here is a traditional Latin prayer that was used before Mass for many years. The priest begins, Procedamus in pace. The servers respond, In nomine Christi, Amen. Upon completion of the prayer, all move to the opening position at the back of the church. Servers A and B line up side by side just behind the last pew. The priest lines up behind. The crossbearer lines up in front. Whenever the servers are standing or walking without holding anything, their hands should be folded as a sign of prayer. When the words of the entrance song begin, everyone processes together toward the sanctuary, moving at a moderate pace. Just before reaching the foot of the sanctuary, the servers separate to allow the priest and deacon to move between them. Then they stop at the foot of the sanctuary. The tiles can be used as a guide to know how far apart to stand. The servers genuflect with the priest, turning left toward the tabernacle. After he genuflects, the priest moves into the sanctuary. Servers A and B should remain standing in their positions until the priest kisses the altar. Then the servers move to their seats in the first pew on the left side of the sanctuary. Server A should enter the pew first so that server B can be on the outside for the opening prayer. Mass begins with the sign of the cross, the greeting by the priest, and the penitential act. The servers should follow along as they normally would at Mass. After making the sign of the cross, server B should pick up the Roman Missal. The servers' hands should be under the book while the top of the book rests on their chest. The front of the Roman Missal should be facing away from the server. The priest will begin the collect, or opening prayer by saying, Let us pray. Server B will bring the closed missal to the priest. Server B should not stand in front of the priest, but slightly to his side, standing at an angle toward him. The priest will open the missal, and the server should adjust his hands and the book to hold the open book resting on his chest. The priest prays with his arms outstretched. When he brings his hands together, this is the sign for the server to close the missal and return to the pew. All are seated for the liturgy of the word. The servers participate in the liturgy of the word as they normally would at Mass, listening to the word of God, responding to the psalm, standing for the gospel, being attentive during the homily, and praying during the intercessions. When the intercessions are completed, everyone in the church sits down but the servers will need to help set up the altar. There are three sets of two things the servers will need to bring to the altar. The missal and chalice, the water and wine, the water and lavabo bowl and towel. First, server B brings the Roman missal while server A goes to the credence table to get the chalice. Server B waits for server A so that they can go to the altar together. The chalice should always be picked up using two hands. One hand should hold the stem of the chalice while the other should be on top. Server B will place the missile on the left side of the altar while server A places the chalice on the right side of the altar. Server A or B may need to make another trip to the credence table to bring other items such as the tray of chalices or missile stand. The servers bow to the altar each time they leave the altar. The servers bow to the altar and go back to their place in the pew. Okay. Servers A and B wait in the pew until the deacon or priest moves toward the front of the sanctuary to meet the gift bearers. Server A joins the deacon or priest at the foot of the sanctuary. Server B goes to the credence table to get the cruet of water. The deacon or priest receive the gifts, handing the wine to server A. They bow to the gift bearers before turning to go back to the altar. 
Server A follows the deacon, and Server B, bringing the water, meets Server A at the side of the altar. The water and wine should be held with one hand underneath and the other around the outside. The handle should face away from the server. The priest or deacon will take the wine first and then the water. The servers should fold their hands when not holding a cruet. When the priest or deacon is finished, the priest and servers bow to each other. The servers turn toward each other and walk side by side back to the credence table. Servers A and B place the water and wine back on the credence table and pick up the water and lavabo bowl and towel and go to the side of the altar to wash the priest's hands. There are two ways to bring the water and lavabo bowl and towel. If the servers are younger, one should drape the towel over his arm and carry the bowl with two hands. The other carries the water. If the servers are older, one can carry both the bowl and water while the other carries the towel. If a server has only the towel, they should open the towel up so that it is easier for the priest to take. The priest will place his hands over the bowl. The water should be poured slowly, but with a steady stream over his hands in the center of the bowl. Do not be afraid to get his hands wet, but also do not use all the water. If one server has the towel only, he should fold his hands over which the priest will drape the towel. When finished, the servers replace the items on the credence table and return to their places in the pew. During the Eucharistic prayer, the servers kneel with the rest of the people. Even though there are no outward actions for the servers during this time, they should be praying with the priest. This is the most holy and important part of the Mass. The server's prayerful attentiveness should be a model of how the rest of the people are to pray. The Eucharistic prayer ends with everyone standing for the Our Father. At the end of the Our Father, the sign of peace is introduced. The servers should offer each other the sign of peace, and then exit the pew to the foot of the sanctuary in order to exchange the sign of peace with the priest. Servers A and B should bring up any needed saboria from the credence table to the right side of the altar. Server B returns to the pew. Server A should stand a few feet from the altar. The priest will hand the large saborium to Server A, who takes it to the credence table. Server A then returns to the pew. The servers kneel after the singing of the Lamb of God. The priest shows the Eucharist to the people before receiving Holy Communion. Once the priest receives, the servers should move into the sanctuary in front of the celebrant chairs. The servers receive Communion. They have the option of receiving both the body of the Lord and the precious blood. If the server does not wish to receive the precious blood, they may cross their arms to show this. Having received communion, the servers return to their pew while communion is distributed to the people. During this time, the servers should be praying, thanking the Lord for the wonderful gift of the Eucharist. There is a list of short prayers after receiving communion on the back of the server playbook found in their pew. These prayers are great to pray at this time. When the priest has completed distributing communion, he returns to the altar to purify the sacred vessels. Server A should bring the water from the credence table. The priest will either take the water to pour himself, or he will hold a vessel for the server to pour into. The server then bows and returns the water to the credence table. The priest will finish cleaning the altar. When he leaves the altar to sit at his chair, the server should come to remove all items from the altar. Server A takes the chalice to the credence table, and Server B takes the Roman Missal to the pew. Any other items, like extra saboria, should also be taken to the credence table until the altar is clear. The priest will sit in prayer for a moment. Then he will stand and say, Let us pray. Server B brings the Missal to the priest, just as for the collect. When the priest is finished, the server will close the Missal and return to the pew. Server B should set the missile down in order to make the sign of the cross when the priest gives the final blessing. When the priest moves behind the altar to reverence it, 
The servers leave the pew and move to the foot of the sanctuary, leaving room for the priest. The priest joins the servers at the foot of the altar. Together they genuflect toward the tabernacle and process out together with the servers leading side by side. The servers should lead the procession all the way out of the nave into the narthex.